हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक एंड टुडे वी आर डूइंग रूट कैनाल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ मैक्सिलरी कैनाइन एक्सेस ओपनिंग फॉर द मैक्सिलरी कैनाइन इज सेम एज दैट ऑफ द मैक्सिलरी इनसाइजर इनामल इज पेनिट्रेटेड इन द सेंटर ऑफ द लिंगवल सरफेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ नंबर फोर राउंड बर्ड एंड एज यू कैन सी द एंगल इज परपेंडिकुलर आफ्टर यू पेनिट्रेट द इनामल बर इज डायरेक्टेड अलॉन्ग द लॉन्ग एक्सेस अंटिल यू फील अ ड्रॉप इन टू द पल्प चेंबर and then overhanging enamel and dentine is removed with the help of a number 4 round bird in a slow speed contraangle hand piece by working from inside to outside that is you, you can see inside to outside we follow the internal anatomy gaining a direct access to the root canal is done by removing the palatal roof and the palatal shoulder cross section of the pulp chamber is ovoid as you can appreciate a number 10 k file is inserted directly through the canal orifice in this video we are doing bmp with a step back technique using hand files so the in step back technique the first phase is apical one third instrumentation phase 2 is middle one third and the third phase we go coronal so from the apical then we go to the coronal first preparation is apical instrumentation and we do it with a circumferential filing circumferential filing is file in inserted into the root canal up till the apex and laterally press it against one side of the canal wall to withdraw it with a pulling motion it is done to file the dentinal walls so apical one third we do the circumferential filing and we use edta along with instrument every time we use the instrument we use edta recapitulation between each size is done basically returning to the smaller instrument from time to time and that is done to before advancing to the longer size so this is instrument with the edta every time when we are inserting any file into the canal we use edta along with that and that is done to shape the canal so as you can see after 10 we have used 15 number file and for the step back technique apical one third so from apical one third then middle one third then coronal one third that is how we prepare in the circumferential filing for apical so we use 10 number file with the dta insert it and then do the circumferential filing then we use 15 number file along with the dta use the circumferential filing 20 number file with edta every time when we insert a file we have to use edta along with that so we keep on increasing the file size up till 25 number and for coronal instrumentation coronal one third we do it with a reaming motion so apical one third is serially enlarged up till a 25 number file every time you introduce a file we have to use edta along with that and remember to use copious irrigation so one time we use sodium hypochlorite and then saline sodium hypochlorite irritates the soft tissue that is why you can also use this cotton so that it is not touching the soft tissues so in between filing we have to keep on irrigating the canal coronal instrumentation is done in a reaming motion now remember apical is done in circumferential filing while coronal instrumentation is done in a reaming motion if you appreciate this reaming motion it is a clockwise rotation slight pushing motion which is limited to a quarter to a half turn and then we disengage the file with a mild pulling motion when the file bounce to the canal so reaming motion is clockwise rotation and a small amount of pushing motion that is limited to quarter to a half turn and then we disengage with a mild pulling motion so clockwise uh, limit and then anti clockwise or counter clockwise to quarter to half turn and remember to irrigate with sodium hypochlorite and saline alternatively So excess cavity preparation for maxillary canine is circular to ovoid and you can appreciate circular to ovoid which is wider labiopalatally than mesiodistally so it is wider labiopalatally and it is thinner mesiodistally that is the excess cavity preparation for the maxillary canine you can also identify the root canal in a dark room so once you create a dark space or dark room and you use led light at the cej once you put it 
you can nicely appreciate the canal over here so that is done to identify the canal and you can appreciate the canal which is oval to circular in shape so the shape of canal is also visible if there is any calcification then there won't be this light illumination passing through the canal so you can see there is no blockage the canal is nicely visible using this dark room technique if you have the knowledge of average length of the tooth it prevents trauma or forcing of debris into the periradicular tissues for maxillary canine it is 27 millimeters so talking about working length first thing we measure the length of the tooth radiographically then we take a stable occlusal reference point for anteriors it is incisal edges for posterior it is cuspid that the silicone stopper on the file that is set to these reference points and then we determine the working length in this case we have achieved working length of 23 millimeters so with the help of diagnostic or exploratory instrument like a number 6, number 8 or number 10k file we determine the working length because these instruments are flexible enough to follow the root canal curvatures and fit into the fine torturous canal and they are also stiff enough to be inserted through the debris and tissues until they reach the root apex. So a k file is inserted into the canal with a slight reaming motion to bypass any obstruction to estimate the working length of the canal then the instrument is removed dentist should examine for curvature and records any observation regarding the anatomic variation if present copious irrigation is done alternatively after a file is used so irrigation with sodium hypochlorite and with the saline is done always remember to verify the exact working length on a radiograph According to Grossman, working length is kept 0.5 to 1 mm short of the radiographic apex. In this case, we have a working length of 23 mm. But in my clinical practice, I keep it as per the radiographic apex. And if there is a curved canal, you can pre-curve the file also. So you can bend the file by grasping the blade with a gauze for curved canals. So each file we insert up till the working length so entire canal is cleaned and irrigated and that is in a serial enlargement so after 10 we take 15 then 20 then 25 so up till the working length we use till the 25 number file so file is rotated in clockwise counterclockwise and filing motion and once the apical foramen area is cleaned, apical one-third preparation is started. So apical one-third is serially enlarged to develop an apical stop of at least up till 25 number file to the working length. So 15 number file to the working length, 20 number file to the working length and in between we have to do the copious irrigation so cleaning and irrigating the entire canal and then up till 25 we have to go till the working length that is to enlarge the apical one third the next stage in the step back technique is we keep on reducing working length and keep on increasing the file size see this is a 25 number file so up till 25 number we go till the working length now after we are done with 25 number file then we ahead with the next stage in step back preparation that is we keep on increasing one file size and we keep on decreasing working length of one millimeter so for 30 number file we have working length of 23 millimeters that is our master pical file and in step back preparation next file 35 number is going to be one millimeter less than working length so for 40 number file size working length is going to be minus two millimeters and for 45 it will be minus three millimeters and so on to produce a coronal tapering all instrumentation is performed with copious irrigation to prevent blockage of the canal 
with dentinal or pulp debris. Once body of canal is completed, you can also use GG drills to further funnel the preparation coronally. I haven't used the GG drill. Now, next step is using the paper points. So, same as the last master apical file, we take the paper point that is blue number, 30 number to the desired working length is inserted until you get a dry paper point to the dry canal. So, we keep on using the paper point as the master apical file so this is a blue for 30 number file to the desired working length we insert it and check it if the paper point is dry or not and we repeat the process until we get a dry paper point now as you can see we still have a wet paper point over here so we are going to repeat the same step take the paper points as the master apical file insert it into the canal until we get a dry paper point to the working length so once we get a dry paper point then our canal is ready so as you can see the paper point we are taking blue number so that is the master apical file up till 23 that is the working length so we insert it into the canal and check if it is dried completely or not and once we get a dry paper point like this as you can see the paper point is completely dried off then we pack the canal orifice with a cotton pallet with a sterile cotton pallet and then we put a temporary restorative material you can use cavet or you can use zinc oxide eugenol cement so any temporary restorative material can be placed we instruct the patient not to eat or drink anything until the cement is set so at least for an hour or so and next visit we complete the root canal treatment we do the obturation step so this is excess cavity preparation and BMP for the maxillary canine. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also comment in the comment section below. So guys, till then keep reading, keep learning, stay motivated.